Methods to be safe on live. Passwords and biometrics. Passwords, pins, and biometric scanners are used to authenticate the user into a system or network. Passwords make sure data is safe and prevents unauthorized access. Biometrics have now become more popular but are only found to log in to phones, tablets, and PCs, but still not for a standard login system. When setting up a password, you must make sure that it is more than 8 characters long. It is a mixture of letters, numbers, and symbols. A mix of uppercase and lowercase letters. Made up of random characters, not common. And is changed frequently. Firewalls. Firewalls control the data going in and out of the network. The way they work is by examining the address of everything entering and comparing them to a list set by the admins. The list states addresses that should be allowed and which addresses shouldn't be allowed. Encryption. Encryption means the scrambling of data into an unreadable format using a key. This key can again be used to unscramble the data to change it back to a meaningful form. Capture. Capture tests check if you are a real person or robot. Capture tests could either ask you to type out a set of randomly generated text or numbers or to pick out images with similar features. Permissions. File access rights can be set so that only users with permission can access files, folders, or drives. The user can be given permission only to read or to read and write. Secure websites and emails. HTTP is what is used to transfer data through a web server to a client, but it is not safe, so we add an S after to create HTTPS, which is secure. This allows users to safely enter confidential, personal, financial details online. However, most websites online are still at HTTP, as if you do not need to enter any details, there is no need to worry about safety rules. You should be extremely careful when opening emails and attachments. When opening email attachments, be extra careful if you do not recognize the sender, text is irrelevant to the user, contains grammatical errors, is an executable file, message saying do it immediately, or you do not recognize the URL. Anti-malware. As you guessed, anti-malware prevents malware from operating in a computer system and even allows users to scan their files or their system. Anti-malware can be classified into three main types. Antivirus. A virus is a malware that uses networks to spread to connected devices. Although viruses may look like normal files, all viruses have some unique virus definition. The antivirus uses these definitions to pick out viruses and quarantines it so that it cannot be run. Anti-adware Adware displays unwanted ads. Anti-adware identifies quarantines and destroys adware. Anti-spyware Spyware spies on users by secretly monitoring and recording data, like user input. Anti-spyware identifies quarantines and destroys spyware. A backup will create one or more copies of a file, folder, or any data. The backups can be stored on an external hard disk or on an online storage. Backing up online is slower because it needs an internet connection. However, saving in two different locations provides more security. Backup is necessary in case of loss of files due to theft, malware, fire or power cuts. A good backup procedure would be set up automatic procedure, do not use optical media as they deter deteriorate over time, schedule backups when less people are using the internet, create more than one copy, store copies in multiple locations, store important data in a fireproof safe.